Hey developer and welcome to another Rare Cold World video. Hybrid desktop applications are becoming a popular option for companies to provide a solution for their applications in the desktop industry. Although Electron Framework offers a solution for the creation of installer on every platform, as we covered in one of our previous videos using Squirrel in Windows, the solution doesn't feel so native as a regular MSAI file which allows the user to customize the installation path and the developer will be able to modify the installer as well without needing administration rights. In this video, we will explain you how to create the Windows version of an installer for your Electron Framework application easily using the Electron Wix MSAI package. To follow up this tutorial, you will need of course a working project of Electron Framework. You can use the Quick Start repository of the official project in GitHub if you are just testing out the installer. This means as well that you need Node.js and NPM working properly on your Windows system. Having said that, let's get started. As you may know, or maybe not, you need to build a production version of your Electron project before publishing with any kind of installer, and the Microsoft installer is not the exception. As you can see, we have the quick start project of Electron, a really simple project that works. To build the production version, we will need to install the Electron Package Share module globally in your system, so open a new command prompt and type the command shown on the screen. This module will be available globally and will allow us to build the standalone version of the project. We will use the most basic way of building, providing as positional argument the current directory of the Electron project, setting the platform to build a Windows application using the 64 bits architecture, and setting output name of the app to our code world, in this case. This will create the standalone version of our app in the same directory of the project. As you can see, you can find the executable of the app and it simply runs if you run the file. In order to create the installers, we will use native tools. The module of Node.js relies on the Wix tools and build tools that includes everything you need to create installations on your development and build machines. You can find a direct link to the tools in the official repository of the module. We will add it in the description of the video as well. This link will lead you to the Wix website that will redirect you as well to the releases page of the Wix toolset project at GitHub. Download the Wix 311.x file and run it. In this app, click on the install button to prepare the tools in your system. Once the installation finishes, close the app and proceed to register the binaries path of the tools in your path environment variable of Windows. You can find the bin directory of the Wix toolset at the shown path of the video. Then search for the environment variables in Windows and search for the path on system variables. Here, at the bin path of the Wix toolset. By doing this, the toolset will be available from the command prompt. However, you need to close any open command prompt and open a new one, otherwise the variables won't be updated. You can verify that it's working typing candle in the command prompt.
Lastly, but not less important, with all the tools installed, you will be able to use the Electron Wix module to create the Microsoft installer. The logic to create the installer is the following one. You will need to create a script that will generate the installer. You can do this actually inside the project, so install the module as first with npm using the command shown on the screen. Once the installation of the module finishes, proceed to create a new JavaScript file in the root directory of your Electron project. In this case, we will name it Wild Installer and will contain the following code. Remember that you can get the code from the official article in our website in the description of the video. We will import the module and will declare two constant variables that are basically the absolute path of the standalone version of the Electron project, created in the first step. The other constant will be the output directory of the MSI file. Remember that both of them need to be absolute, relative paths won't work. Then create an instance of the module and provide as first argument an object with the required configuration properties, namely the paths and the metadata of the installer. Finally, call the create method from the instance that returns a JavaScript promise. When it's fulfilled, proceed to compile the installer and that's it. Save the changes of the file and proceed to build the installer running this script with Node.js. Once it finishes, you will find in the output directory the Microsoft installer. Just run it, follow the installation step and that's it. Now you have an installer for your application in Windows. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.